Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 21st, 2023, from Proverbs chapter 27, verse 1. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. The first thing about this verse is to consider what is boasting? Boasting, you could say, is bragging. And should we be bragging in about of ourselves? Well, that'll come up in another proverb. No, St. Paul reminds us in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, let the one who boasts, boasts in the Lord. The second part of this verse is about tomorrow. We really don't know what will happen tomorrow. So we should be very careful about planning for tomorrow. Nothing wrong with having good plans, but ultimately realizing everything is in God's hands. So, as Paul reminds us, we boast that everything is in God's hands and not in our own hands. Verse 2, let another praise you and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. Just as we heard in the last verse, we boast only in the Lord God, not ourselves. Praising ourselves is being very arrogant, which the Bible is opposed to because arrogancy leaves very little room in our heart for God. The challenge comes in when we are asked by our employer what our skill set is or if we're being hired. The corporate America wants to know what we can do. And we should speak the truth, but we shouldn't over-exaggerate who we are or what we can do. Verse 3, a stone is heavy and sand is weighty, but a fool's provocation is heavier than both. This verse contrasts physical weights versus the emotional weight of working with a fool. Other Proverbs also notes that the destruction that a fool can accomplish, whereas the stone and the sand usually doesn't cause that much destruction. Verse four, wrath is cruel, anger is overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? So the Bible is kind of stating here that jealousy is worse than anger or wrath. What's interesting is that God describes himself as a jealous God. The idea that is that we worship only one true God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Otherwise, God gets very, very jealous for the wrath and anger of God is one thing, but the jealousy of God is much worse. Verse five, better is open rebuke than hidden love. Now, this verse is kind of interesting. Remember, we can manage what we know. We cannot manage what we don't know. So the open rebuke, well, that's manageable. Hidden love or unexpressed love, well, that's not good. From a Christian's perspective, consider our relationship with God. If we are hiding our love of God from others, what good is it? We need to remember we first received that love of from God. And that love of God isn't stagnant. But that love of God flows from us to other people. That's why the Gospels remind us to let our light shine to the world around us because other people need to see the love that God first loved us so and how that love throw, flows through us to other people. God's peace and many blessings be with you and thank you for listening and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.